One of the areas that I'm most pleased with and surprised about is the fact that there are a lot of people that really banded around Corey and supported him through this endeavor. He's in a pressure situation and without the team, he's left with nothing. I gotta say, it's way better than it was before. But uh, what I would like to think my reputation is, is, hey, this guy is very passionate and is constantly all about the game. Like, works tirelessly to find solutions in every possible aspect and whatever is needed, I do to get the job done. What really most likely goes on is, meh, he's okay. He's a little bit easier to work with than Dave, but you know, he still changes his mind all the time uh, and can't make up his mind about what he wants if only he could choose what he wanted. But uh, overall, he's, he's, he's pretty cool. You know, that's probably what it is. Mixed in with, I think he's a dick. I let them win this time to give them a full sense of security. Corey's generally a pretty good guy to work with. Um, there's been a few times, particularly towards the end of this project, where you could swear he's channeling Dave Jaffe sometimes. You know, he can be a very uh, stubborn uh, individual, but uh, generally he's a pretty nice chap. You know, we'll be sitting in a meeting and Corey will say something like, you know, what? Whatever happened to the Golden Fleece, or something like that? It's like, what, what? You know, everybody's like wondering what's going on with the Golden Fleece, and that becomes the the new priority. And the priority isn't the Colossus anymore; it's the Golden Fleece. Well, the Colossus is, is a lot more important. The priorities change just like that on a dime, so it kind of changes the dimension of the team a little bit very quickly. Corey's a handful, um, but and yes, he Corey can be flippant, but it's all in it, it's all well-meaning. I mean. Corey has a great vision, is making a great game. We're all here to support that vision. Um, and you're going to have to change your mind a lot. You're going to have to keep pushing the edge. If something doesn't work that sounded great originally, you're going to have to change it. You might have to change that thing 15 times. And I think that's why people can get frustrated with anybody in a creative uh, position, especially one that is, is in a director position. I mean. Everybody bitches about Stanley Kubrick, but he went out and made the finest films ever. Like, when is that on? It's on PBS. Yeah, it's like on PBS. PBS? Yeah. Who watches PBS? Watch PBS? Watch PBS? I thought people just pretended to watch Rather PBS. Years, like, I watch the Discovery Channel, the History Channel, and that's, PBS. That's, that's, that's really what I watch. Bad. But that's totally not true. You know that they watch like USA and every Lorenzo Lamas movie. We are experiencing some technical difficulties, so we're, we're doing a redo and starting over. Nice. I'm ready. So we this trans is going to start in ten. That's very pretty. Hello? But, uh, Does your wife do your ringtones for you or what? Alright, start taping now. Got we it. had a little, a little glitch in the Cyclops minigame, so we had to start over. And I blame Joel Tobble for that. That's him right there, ladies and gentlemen. The talent level of the team, just the amount of guys here that are able to, to produce art and animations and think of, think of different crazy ideas to do with Kratos and the programmers, the, the talent level on the team has just been absolutely astonishing. Although challenging and not easy and not perfect, I think the teamwork that's been going on for the past couple of years is something this whole studio should be proud of. I've never met a group of people who are more enthusiastic and passionate about what they do. Nobody really has an attitude or um, that's misplaced or anything like that. Everybody has this healthy level competition and um, you know you look over your shoulder to see what somebody else is doing because maybe they can you can learn something from them. When you see other environment artists and you go over at lunch or on a break and you check out what they're building and you take off ideas from them and they bounce off ideas with you and everyone's giving feedback. It keeps a little bit of healthy competition going and at the same time it brings up the quality of the game. This is a team that I think truly inspires each other. You have to be on all the time. And if you're off, people notice, and the work suffers. So, you know, you generally need to come in and have five good days, not a single bad day. Of course, that's not possible because we're human.